Welcome to the 11th episode of the Solo Travel Guide, guys, where I give you tips and share my experience after solo traveling as well as working and living in different countries for the last decade and still counting. In today's video, we are going to talk about the struggles you might face when you travel by yourself. Because no one is perfect, guys, so if you feel any of these, you won't be alone. Someone actually told me once that being a tourist is the most difficult job in the world. There is some underlying truth to that! Anyway guys, here are the seven struggles I gathered for you. Let's start with number one. Culture shock, especially if you go to a country which is very, very different from your own. People are different, they speak differently, they talk differently, food is different, the work life is different, everything is different, you name it. So at first you can feel some disorientation because you find yourself in a complete new place you haven't seen yet. But that's the beauty of it, guys, because you are discovering a piece of the world you haven't seen yet. This will be the most precious part of the trip and you might realize this when you actually go back home. Number two, guys, is uh, language barrier. So yes, you can face some communication issues. Now guys, I don't know what languages you speak, but let's say that English is the middle ground, so if you know English, you're basically saved in a way, you won't have many problems. If you just speak your first language and you find yourself in a country where they don't speak it, well, you might face some struggles, but not to worry too much, guys, because you will survive anyway. And keep in mind, guys, that the language barrier gets bigger in villages and small towns, especially where there aren't many tourists, or tourist attractions. If you go to big cities like capital cities, you won't have many issues at all in general. So maybe that is a sign you should go learn English if you don't yet. But if you're watching this video, you might already speak it or you might watch because you want to learn it because some of you guys actually told me that as well in the comments. So yeah, keep learning guys, keep learning. Number three guys, you get lost. Let's face it guys, there is a really high chance you are going to get lost and what's the problem? I usually get lost every single time I go traveling at least once. Again, and that is part of the game because you find yourself in a new place, in a new environment. You don't know where things, monuments, attractions are. So it's easy to get lost and not get your bearings right. The thing is also that you don't have another person, another brain to consult, right? Or to help you. So you have to rely on yourself 100%. Don't get frustrated, guys. Just ask around, use your phone, use a map. You'll find your way nothing crazy. Struggle number four, guys, is to do things by yourself. Now, before you say anything, I know this might go against the type of travel itself because, duh, you decide to go and travel by yourself, but this is the truth as well. I'm speaking about common things that, in general, people don't do by themselves. Now, I enjoy solo traveling because I can decide everything by myself 100% of the time, what time to get up, what time I go to bed, what to do, what to eat, where to go, and this is all on me. So that's a big advantage of solo traveling. But on the other side of the coin, guys, some things are either daunting to be by yourself or you would prefer to do in the company of someone else. Anyway, you have to get out of your comfort zone. I'm speaking about things such as going to the restaurant and have a meal by yourself. Yes, sir, a table for one, please. Exploring by yourself, which means you have to enjoy things by yourself. You don't really share them with someone else in that specific moment, which also means, as I said previously, that you might get lost and you might find yourself in the middle of the street looking at your map trying to find where to go. Taking picture by yourself, guys. Well, at least we have tripods nowadays, but yes, Taking selfies by yourself is still an art, so it's not easy, guys, it's not easy. And let's not talk about nightlife, guys. If you actually go to bars, clubs or whatever by yourself, I actually do admire it because I usually go with people. I never go by myself. But again, if you feel like to, why not? My respect. Struggle number five, guys, is to be a target for pickpocketing. Now, this is more on the safety side, but I'll include it here because it is still a struggle you may face. Because when you travel alone, guys, people might notice you are a tourist. Maybe you have your map, you keep checking your phone, you stop in the middle of the street trying to look for things. And so people might understand this and you might become a target for pickpocketers. 
So just be aware, guys, of the place you find yourself in. Make sure you keep an eye on your belongings. And if you feel like there's something or someone suspicious, just leave. Go to a more crowded places if you aren't already in one. Again, guys, I don't want to scare you, but rather warn you. Struggle number six, guys, is loneliness. Again, guys, you know you're going by yourself. But this doesn't mean that you won't feel lonely at any point during your travels. Especially the very first time or few times this might happen and it is completely normal. Also, if you travel for a long period of time and you find yourself in the company of other people once in a while, you might feel this anyway. And usually this is because you're not used to be by yourself all day long, every day, outside of your home for such a long period of time. And loneliness will take me to the struggle number seven, which is the last one, which is to be homesick. This can happen especially when you travel for a very long time by yourself, I would say. If you travel for a week or so, guys, this might happen, but to a different extent. Sometimes we just miss the feeling of being home, of that safety. And this can show in different ways, such as missing a specific place, a specific person, a specific food. I actually remember that during a school trip, so this was something like 25 kids, I wasn't traveling by myself, uh, a friend of mine actually missed his bed from home. So see guys, you never know what, what you're going to miss. Don't worry again, guys, because this is part of the game and just remember that you are not traveling by yourself forever. This is temporarily and you always can go back home. Anyway, guys, that is the beauty of it. The challenge of discovering a new place, of relying on yourself completely. You might not like it at first because you're not used to it, but I'm sure you will enjoy it at the end of it. Maybe on your way back home when you actually have the time to think about all of the adventures you went through and that you can share with your family and friends. And this is all I have for you guys today. I hope I haven't put you off too much. In case I have, you can check a video around here where I can speak about the advantages of solo travel so that I can lift you up a little bit. And this is the end of the 11th episode of the solo travel guide, guys. I hope you did find it useful, let me know down in the comments, give this video a thumb up and comment this below. What is something you think you will struggle with when solo traveling? I would love to read your comments. As always guys, thank you for watching. We are towards the end of the series and I will see you soon in episode number 12 of the series. Take of girl is out. Bye.